hey guys you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is oma and i'm glad to have you on my channel today if this is your first time of coming across the channel hello if you've been an all subscriber i actually appreciate you thank you for your support i do not take it for granted okay guys today's video is for people that complain that spiritual work do not you know actually work for them right yes no matter what they have tried is not working for them their spirits do not accept spiritual work it is not true it is not true right yes there are there are procedures to these things there are processes you have to observe before you can be able to do spiritual work like take for instance someone who has ocho, who has negative energies cannot stop doing favor you uh, favor rituals favor spiritual work you have to clear off the genes in you you have to clear off negative energies if the witches are after your life you cannot do spiritual work about favor and you expect it to work for you you have to clear off the things on your way so that spiritual work will work for you spiritual work works for everybody irrespective of your element of nature as long as you eat now let me tell you if you can take herbs and it will work for you Spiritual work must work for you because there are no difference between the herbs that you make. You bring different herbs together, put them together and take it. Let's take for instance, you're having fever, you're having malaria or typhoid. And when you take these herbs, you become all right. Why is it that your, why is it that your inner spirit will accept herbs? And then when you're using it for spiritual work, it will work for you. It doesn't work like that. Something is making it not to work for you for spiritual purposes so i will advise you to follow this video quietly do as i have said it is very simple just for you to clear off the genes clear off you know negativities there are several things that we do that attract us negativities and we are not aware of it yes some people are so good as it at crossing their fellow human beings now what you tell people the way you curse people, you don't know that you are actually cursing back yourself. It is very important that once in a while, you do cleansing to remove any obstacles on your way, any curse. It might be the one that you have cursed people. It might be that it is coming back to you. You understand? Because you don't know the spirit guides of those people you are cursing, especially when their hands are clean, especially when they are innocent. You curse them when they are innocent. You use abusive words on them when they are innocent. And their spirit guides will just get angry and start, uh, and start attracting you negativities. Then you are doing the work of favor. How can you be favored when you have all these things on your way? You need to clear them off. You need to make them give way first. Then you now focus on favor spiritual work or favor rituals. Okay? Yes. All right, that being said, I have come to I've come to show you some things you will use to clear off these things. I've come to teach and uh, show you the things you use to clear off these things. Look at it. This is bitter leaf. Gather as many bitter leaf as you can. This is scent leaf. This is scent leaf. This is bitter leaf. Okay? then with a bottle of honey you're not going to use all the honey though you're going to use just a little bit some drops of it four drops of honey you're going to use for it okay this cleansing this ritual must be done only at night last thing at night feel free to repeat this exercise whenever you feel that there are obstacles on your way there are things stopping you from achieving what you're supposed to achieve there are things stopping you from getting your blessings. There are things on your way stopping you from getting favor. There are things attracting disappointment, hatred, and you know, a lot of negativities on your way. Feel free to repeat it. You can never have an overdose of this. Okay? Yes. You can do this anytime, any day. But let it be. It must be the, it must be the last thing at night. Because once you are done, you don't need to towel your body. So, you're going to get the sun, you're going to get as many bitter leaves as possible, 
but we're gonna pluck just four leaves of this beautiful scent leaf. Hmm. Even the scent alone is wonderful. Get it, get me a bucket of water. Get me a bucket of water. Put these leaves inside it and squeeze out the juice inside the bucket of water. Then remove the chaff. I mean, filter out the chaff and trash it. Okay, now get honey, original honey, all right, unadulterated honey, yes. bush honey. Get it and add four drops of it inside this water, okay? Then once you're done, use it to have a bath. Go and use it to have a bath. Before you have your bath with it, you release your words, positive words into that water. Affirm good things into the water. All right. Allow allow your your you allow your spirit to align with these things inside the water. Okay. Just speak that you are using this water. You want to remove every negativity, any obstacle on your way, anything that is stopping spiritual work not to work for you, anything that is making you not to grab what is yours, anything that is attracting your negativities. You are clearing it off, and this honey will serve as sweetness. To draw the energy of sweetness into your life okay while this tool will cleanse you from every evil energies okay that's all guys just have this your bath no sponge no soap you can have your bath before you start once you're done using this particular one you cannot have your bath again so it is very important to note this so you don't go and have your bath after using this okay so what you have to do is just have your bath with this pour it all over your body if you're having this my kind of hair you can pour water all over all right pour water all over just go to bed pour water all over and just go to bed all right you'll feel renewed you'll feel good within yourself you'll feel great some people that have spiritual calling that will see themselves you know when they are being released in the spiritual realm but if not it's okay it has worked for you. Go and use your spiritual products after this. Go and use it. Feel free to repeat it anytime that you feel that something is going on in your life. Go ahead and do it. Very effective, very simple, easy to afford. You can get your vegetables anywhere. The honey is everywhere. Bitter leaves, scent leaves, honey. You know, that's it. These are spiritual things. They are herbs though, but they are very, very effective. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I love you. God bless you. I still remain your one and only Omar. Feel free to share this video, like our video, invite your friends and family to come and share in this wealth of knowledge by Omar. I love you guys. You know that, right? Okay, see you guys in my next one. Bye.